So it's been a couple of weeks since I aired my gentleman Givenchy Reserve Privé Auto Parfum video, a review. Uh, this one right here. This is a brand new release from this house, and even though I enjoyed the smell, I felt like the performance was lacking in this particular one. I don't know why this one was not performing on me like the uh, Eau de Parfum does. And even though the fragrances are very, very close, I still prefer the Eau de Parfum over the Reserve Privé. But I thought I'd put together a rank list of all six of the fragrances in this collection. Uh, only thing is, the Cologne is no longer on the Givenchy website. So it is available at discounters, but mine's really low. I should probably get a backup because I really do like this one uh, a lot. Uh, so I'll let you know how the fragrances are ranked in this video, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about Gentleman Givenchy collection of fragrances from Givenchy dating back to 2017 when the first one was launched in the Eau de Toilette concentration, this one right here, and then 2022 to the Reserve Privé that just came out. So there's six in the collection, but as I said, there's only five on the website. The Cologne is no longer, and even though it says Cologne, this is an Eau de Toilette concentration, and I feel like it's one of the better ones in the whole collection. Definitely up there quite a bit. In fact, it might be competing with uh, the Reserve Privé. And also, just to point out, the bottles have been redone. Um, the uh, bottles up to, I guess the bottles up to the Boise are kind of bulky. Now the Eau de Toilette Intense and then also Reserve Privé are very nice and compact and tight. I like those bottles a lot more. These I felt like uh, they were a little clunky. Either way, I'm going to let you know about all these fragrances. Before I get to the fragrances though, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Ways. Are you a fan of this collection of fragrances? Is it one of your favorites? I feel like this is a pretty solid collection of men's designer fragrances. Uh, I think it's up there, probably some of the best out there. And I, I feel like LVMH Group, the umbrella, does make some great men's fragrances as far as designer fragrances go. I don't like to review a lot of the designer fragrances, but I feel like these deserve it because they are some of the best men's designer fragrances out there on the market. But sadly, it didn't start very well. But uh, again, as I said, the first one was launched in 2017. There are six total flankers currently. One of them, the Cologne, is no longer on the website. Most or all should be created by Natalie Lorson and uh, Olivier Cresp. And they started with this one in the Eau de Toilette concentration in 2017. So the original Eau de Toilette was not the biggest wow for me. I didn't say that these were great releases up until uh, the next year after this was launched uh, when they came out with the Eau de Parfum. Um, so the original in the Eau de Toilette, I would call this a sweet powdery woody aromatic fragrance. You've got the sweetness, you've got powdery touches, definitely woods and aromatics as well. I get the sweetness from the pear. There's a pear note here, so it's got a little bit of a fruitiness. Uh, not overwhelming fruity, but definitely there's that fruitiness here, but it's got loads of iris, there's pear, there's lavender, there's leather, there's cardamom, vanilla, there's patchouli. So I feel like they started something pretty decent and then eventually graduated to something really great smelling here with the Eau de Parfum, the second year of the releases. But this particular fragrance I felt like was a little lackluster. It wasn't all that for me. It felt like... Um, I don't know, it wasn't rushed or anything. It just felt like, okay, they're doing something and most likely they're gonna graduate to do something a lot better once it comes time to do the flankers and the concentration changes and things like that. But it's kind of simplistic. You know, it's powdery, it's aromatic, as I was saying, there's woods in there. Uh, and then, you know, there is a little bit of that fruitiness and the sweetness from the pear as well. So that's the first version. Eau de Toilette Concentration in 2017, and I rank that at number six. So in the collection, it's my least favorite. Moving on to number five, it is the Eau de Toilette Intense. So Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Toilette Intense, and that launched in 2021. So this was a little bit of a tie between the Boise, but I ended up putting Boise after the Eau de Toilette Intense. Um, and why is that? You know, it's still smelling like the original Eau de Toilette to me. And so I felt like it deserved to be right after the original Eau de Toilette. But I feel like it does have a little decent uh, interest 
yeah, it's a little more interesting than the original Eau de Toilette. So they did something a little nicer. They intensified it according to them. Uh, the notes seem a little more intense and a little more robust to me. But this is a woody, aromatic, spicy, powdery fragrance with iris, cardamom, bergamot, basil, cedarwood, coumarin. So, you know, you've got the tonka beans in here, lots of woods once again, and it's aromatic. There's some aromatics and spices in here. But of course, it is powdery with the iris once again. And it is, this collection is all about iris and I feel like once they went to the Eau de Parfum, they started smelling a little bit like or reminding me of uh, fragrances like Diorum collection. But, you know, they have their own unique twist to it. And I I'm a fan of this collection. But as I said, these Eau de Toilettes are at the bottom of the list. The rest of the collection is more on the top of the list. They smell a little more luxury to me. And then the Eau de Toilettes and even the Eau de Toilette Intense seems a little more mass market. You know, for people uh, to be embracing uh, fragrances, uh, easier to embrace is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, even though I prefer the Eau de Toilette Intense more than the original Eau de Toilette, definitely deserves to be in the bottom. So that's at number five, the Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Toilette Intense. So then at number four, it is Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Parfum Boise. You know, I, I was it was a little toss-up for me. I would have put this one at five and Intense, Eau de Toilette Intense at number four, but I decided to go with the Eau de Parfum at number four because I do prefer the Eau de Parfum concentration fragrances. The only thing about this one, um, you know, it's equal. For me, it's equal. So I just had to decide which one goes where. But this is definitely Eau de Parfum concentration. They got a little bit of a chocolate thing happening in this one, which makes for a unique experience. And basically, it's kind of a flanker of this. Uh, they've added a kind of a peppery chocolate cacao thing in this. But I would call this a woody, spicy, warm, powdery fragrance with iris, cacao, sandalwood, woody notes, black pepper, patchouli, geranium, cedar, coriander. For me, there's a lot more differences here in the Eau de Parfum Boise in comparison to the Eau de Parfum. And I do prefer the Eau de Parfum much more than the Boise. That's why it's at number four. But the cacao adds some unique things. There's aromatics here. There's a little bit of peppery spices as well. And then the coriander. Coriander. There's this unique coriander experience with the patchouli. It makes for a very unique experience, whereas it's unique, better than the Eau de Toilettes, but not as good as the original Eau de Parfum, because I feel like the original Eau de Parfum smells fantastic. I get also, in comparison of this one with the Eau de Parfum, I get more of a smooth, buttery, ambery experience, where I'm not getting it here. Uh, and I don't know if it's because they're not having ambery touches added to this particular fragrance in comparison to the original. So that's why this one ended up at number four. So at number four, it's a Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Parfum Boise. That one launched in 2020. And the previous fragrance, the Eau de Toilette Intense, was from last year in 2021. So at number three, it's the Cologne. And this is the one that's sadly no longer on the Givenchy website. So most likely it's discontinued or it could be just that it's discontinued here in the States and not over in the, you know, France where the brand's from or Europe. I did not check on their website, so I can't comment, but I did see stock out there at the discounters. And this to me is fantastic. I really, really love it. In fact, I feel like the cologne seems to be a flanker of the Eau de Parfum rather than the Eau de Toilette, like a cologne version of the Eau de Parfum. Makes sense? So I didn't really care for the smell of the Eau de Toilette. The iris was not as uh, you know intense. Here, the iris is really intense, and even though it's a fresh take on the uh, the DNA of the fragrance, uh, it's so good. It smells really, really great. So, so good. Very, very sexy as well. This is a 2019 launch. It's a citrus aromatic woody powdery fragrance with bergamot, iris, lemon, pettigran, vetiver, ambroxan, rosemary, musk. Such a great release. It is really, really great. I like the powderiness contrasted with all the fresh notes. Kind of like that Dior Homme Cologne kind of a thing. And Dior Homme Cologne to me doesn't have this robust zinginess that this one does. This one is freaking fantastic in comparison to the Dior Homme Cologne. So I really, really do think this one's great. The powderiness with the freshness, the citrusiness and some of the kind of woodiness that's in here is really great. And I enjoy it because it's almost like you're having a frosted iris kind of an experience, a very, very fresh, cool, breezy kind of a uh, green uh, experience. Such a great smell. I don't know why this one's not on the uh, Givenchy website anymore, uh, but I think it's a really great great summer edition of this particular fragrance. And if this was going head-to-head -head with something like 
Dioram Cologne, even uh, Guerlain's L'Omidial Cologne, which is absolutely discontinued, this would definitely win out. This smells so good in comparison to those fragrances, and I do like those fragrances as well, but this is absolutely an amazing kind of a fragrance. There's that greenness in here that really calls me. So anyway, Givenchy Gentleman Cologne from 2019 is the number three uh, in the uh, ranked list of uh, the Gentleman Givenchy fragrances. And then the Gentleman Givenchy Reserve Privé is at number two, but I do have to say these came really, really close. But I ended up putting this one here because I do like this one a little more than the cologne as far as smells go, and I do prefer deeper, darker, richer, more intense fragrances in comparison to fresh ones. That's why I put this one at number two. And then also want to stress this list is not ranked on performance, only on smells. As I was complaining about the performance on this one in the review and how I, it just didn't last on me whatsoever. But I'm not ranking this in performance because when I went back to look at comments on that video I did, it was just like a, almost like a 50-50. 50% said it lasts a long time on them. 50% said it doesn't last at all. So this is the, one of the reasons why I don't like to discuss performance because every time I do a review and say it doesn't last, people come back and say it lasts. Every time I do a review and it says, oh my God, this is beast mode, it lasts forever, people come back and say it doesn't last. This one doesn't last on me, probably it lasts on you, but I'm not ranking it on uh, the, the, the performance. I'm only ranking it on smell. And this is really, really great smelling fragrance, really is. Sadly, it's very close to the original. So it kind of seems redundant to do this. Yes, they've added a little booziness in there, but you know, it's mostly the original fragrance, which I'm still a fan of, and obviously now you know that it's at number one. But you know, this one's a sweet, woody, powdery amber fragrance with iris, woods, amber, chestnut, whiskey, bergamot. Okay, they've added whiskey. They've added a chestnut note. Do you get the booziness? Little bit up top, it goes away fast. Chestnut, there's a little nuttiness there, but it's an ambery kind of a wood iris powdery experience. So it's good, it's really, really great fragrance, but I think it's a little redundant. If the booziness lasted longer, if the chestnut was more prominent, and if the performance was great, it probably would have beat out the original, but it's at number two here. But let me know your thoughts in comparison to these two fragrances. Which do you prefer, the Eau de Parfum from 2018 or the Reserve Privé Eau de Parfum from 2022. Let me know. And then my number one, obviously, is Eau de Parfum, Givenchy, Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Parfum from 2018. This came a year after, well, not even a year after. It's funny because this launched around September of 2017. I remember I was taking a trip to Italy and I'd just come out in September. I had bought it. And then, like, around April, they launched this in 2018. So they didn't even wait a whole year to launch this one. And I, I, I said, yeah, this is exactly what they're planning on doing. They l launch a lackluster kind of a release and then they kind of like top it with such a great release here. So it's a kind of a really, really great offering from Givenchy. This I would call a warm, spicy, woody, powdery fragrance with vanilla, tolu, orris butter, black pepper, patchouli, benzoin, tonka bean, lavender, and cloves. One thing I do want to say, there is a light reminder in this particular fragrance to Zadig and Voltaire's This Is Him. And guess who created that fragrance? Natalie Lorsan. She did this fragrance with Olivier Cresp. So there is that kind of similar similarity. And the reason I get that that similarity is because of the vanilla in here with the black pepper. Zadig and Voltaire, this is him, also has the vanilla and the black pepper. So there's a little bit of a reminder, but this is Oris, whereas Zadig and Voltaire is uh, sandalwood. So you got that powderiness here and this, this reminder of Diorum, kind of a DNA, which is its own thing, but it hints at it, kind of pays, pays tribute to that kind of a fragrance. But this is absolutely great because it's got the tolu balsam, so it's a tall, kind of a balsamic, kind of a dry down, ambery, but it's got the vanilla touches, powdery touches, and it's quite sexy. So it deserves a number one spot, and I do get better performance with this one in comparison to this one. Something with my nose, or a lot of you also, maybe became anosmic to it uh, because, you know, as I said, about 50% said they don't get any performance from it and 50% said, yes, it's beast mode, last until the next day. I can't believe the, the design of fragrance would last till the next day. That's just me. I, I just don't get that kind of a performance from uh, hardly any designers, but uh, I guess some of you do. But anyway, I am putting the Gentleman Givenchy Eau de Parfum at number one. But let me know how you would rank this list 
Uh, how would you rank all six of these? Or maybe just the ones you have. Let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. And also, are you a fan of the cologne? Is it something that you enjoy wearing in the summertime? It's so good. It's got a very invigorating uh, smell. It's kind of lemony green. Uh, and then there's that powdery aura. So there's a kind of a butteriness under there, kind of circling around with the kind of green uh, citrusy touches. Uh, and let me know if, you've, if you have a bottle, if you knew that it was not on the Givenchy website and uh, what do you plan to do now that I, I've mentioned it's no longer on the Givenchy website. And then also, what about this one, the Eau de Toilette Intense? Is it something uh, that was necessary? I feel like they're, you know, cranking out flankers all of a sudden, just milking it. And it's like, Eau de Toilette Intense? Wouldn't that be an Eau de Parfum? <laughs> you know, it's just like kind of trying to figure out what to do next. I I'm just wondering if they're going to come out with an elixir or a Parfum version of this collection. I'd be up for a Parfum. I'd be up for an elixir. If it's going to be better than this, oh, I'm all, I'm all for it. Because this is, as I said, one of my favorite designer fragrance collections and I'm happy with the original Eau de Parfum and I can't wait to see what else they would do. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.